I have woken up to this sight. That is spectacular and the sound of the birds. Spring really is here. Soon we'll be able to see the leaves starting on all of the trees in the courtyard. It's actually a bit chilly, but I'm protected by the bonnet. And no, I'm not taking a leaf out of Philip's style book. I'm not going to be wearing beanies every day. But I have been in bed with the flu for the last four days. Any of you who saw Caddo at the Chateau will see that I was just on my way downhill then. And it knocked me for six. So the bonnet is to protect the sinuses on my first day up and about. Let's make it to the kitchen. I'll start by putting yesterday's crumbs out for the birds. The thing about living in a country famous for baguette is that one is always rich in crumbs. And I always just put them on the ground outside the kitchen and they won't be wasted. Ah, oh, good morning, Lalande. I am so relieved that today is the day I'm getting better because today is not just another day at Lalande. Today is very exciting. We have Grant coming back from Australia but with his entire family this time, he's coming with his wife and his children. They'll be here with us for Easter. And, drumroll, Maria is coming back for the whole season. So today is a huge day. I couldn't miss this. The whole of Lalande is ready to greet them. You can see Benjamin Bunny. He's ready in place for the Easter celebrations. And we've got a happy Easter sign up. Do you remember Wendy Grimwood's lovely Christmas decorations of pigs in blankets? Well, she sent us one disguised as the Easter Bunny. And manning this cupboard, we have Dottie and Gustave, our French mice. Not sure how happy Maria's going to be to find mice in the kitchen, but maybe Dottie and Gustave will win her over. There's Philip, he's just going over to open all of the doors for the builders. We're down to one stale baguette. This is a problem. But as Natty and Amory aren't here, I suspect they've gone to the boulangerie. I have my tea courtesy of Pavlina. I've just warmed it up again. She made me a whole pot of thyme tea for my throat. I think Pavlina's the only reason I'm still alive. How dare you? I've been lit I've been cooking every single day for the past, yeah, what, four days? You have been incredible, but she made the chicken soup. <gasps> I see how it is in this house. <laughs> If the human body is composed of 90% water, at this point, I am 90% chicken soup. I have been eating so much of Pavlina's chicken soup. It's pulled me through and now her thyme tea is just dealing with the last bit. No, but you did. Philip's actually been looking after me so well. I've been really molly coddled and you've been cooking constantly. I still think it was the chicken soup that did it though. Now we have a really fun start to the day because we're choosing the wallpaper for Bon Maman's yes. bathroom. Whilst you were in Dubai, I sat in London for another yeah. day or so and I went to Little Green to look at their wallpapers and to get some samples. So this is the one we originally wanted. Yeah. It's a beautiful scene. I had my heart set on this one, so it's completely left field. You've thrown me <laughs> by arriving with this one, which well, is I was there so and beautiful. Got these massive books. Yeah. And I we had like 10 of them and I went through every single one of them. It's like every single colour swatch and paint. And this is from the National Trust collection, as is this one. This one has got bluebells and we've got an entire bluebell forest. It's so la land. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And also, I think, because I want to have a look in the room, yeah. I think that these colours, we've got the beautiful original floor there. I think it will go really well with the original floor, will complement it really well. I think the only thing that would stop me from going for the yellow over the blue, I think mean, they're both spectacular. They are so stunning. Mm. Is I love this so much that I think I would like to put a yellow chinoiserie like this into my study when we finally decorate that. And I don't want every room in the chateau to look the same. So perhaps we should go, especially with the soft green of Bon Maman's bedroom and then, and then walking through to that. I feel like it will tie the two rooms together more than the yellow will. Let's go look at them in place okay. when I've had my time tea. <laughs> And, and there's one more have? color there in the same book. There's a lot of patterns. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I, we've still got the bluebells there. Yes. I think it might be a bit too white for for Bon Maman's bathroom. I think it's got... But I, I do love Let's the Let's have colors. a look. It is pretty. Now we're going down towards Bon Maman so we can see them in place. Oh, I see work's going on in here. Well, Kevin's almost finished in here. One of the things he's done is... This was really weird. So this was coming through and then coming down. Does that make sense? It was like a loop. Yeah. But most above of the, loop the ceiling. Was above the ceiling. Yes. So he's, he's fixed that and put in a, a, 
shower wand that you can just put up like that. Okay. Is also there was a leak, so it's also fixed that. I love the wallpaper in this room. It's very That's fun. a designer's guild wallpaper. It's so pretty. It's also refinished this. Oh my goodness, the difference. That was in a terrible state. Yes, that was, the whole wall was just cracking off and yeah. flaking. Also took this one here. Transformation. And the ones here. We've got a lot of painting to do now. <laughs> yes. Luckily, I've got the paint charts with me. Uh, so this one here, also done. So it was in a terrible state. It's still the original wallpaper on it. Just <laughs> a little sliver of grey 1980s wallpaper. And this one. Oh, that is so much better. And actually, you can still see here, that is what, well, it was much, much worse than that everywhere yeah. else. This is what we're dealing with. So that bit still needs to be done. I think this one is going to look, because this is the 16th century side of the building. Yes. And we're going to put the internal shutters back here. Yeah, that's going to be incredible. amazing. And I'm just going to make a radiator cover for every radiator that you see. Lovely. So. We've got two weeks to get all of this ready. Yeah, well, the radiator covers are not going to be ready for this season. <laughs> Oh, good, another murder room. Yes, because Kevin filled all the cracks in the ceiling. And now we have to paint that ceiling. But you can see that the window got cracked as well. So that needs replacing. Fantastic. And you can't see it now. It's just a constant stream, stream of things that are needed. The fireplace is marble, right? Yeah. But what they often did to save money is on the sides, they painted it with <laughs> faux marble. So the side is faux, the front is real. Exactly. And this is real as well. And I think that might be faux as well. And it had some uh, some holes in it. Yeah. And you could see the white of the plaster behind it. So Jared actually filled it in and colour matched it. Fantastic. He'll be back any day now, won't yes. he, for Easter? Unfortunately, That's very short. Great. I had a very long list of things to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's you and me painting the ceiling. It is. What fun. Oh, I love painting ceilings. <laughs> I think I'll just be like, <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> feeling a bit sick still. <laughs> No, not really. Hello. Et bonjour. Hello. Comment allez-vous? Super bien, merci. On est venu pour choisir le papier peint. Ah, ok. Ça y est, les décisions vont se faire maintenant. Ok. The perfect the new shower head uh, looks that like Kevin put in. Kevin's in the middle of just fitting all of the new taps. That's a new shower in there as well. Also, new shower basket. Oh, little. We'll call it a shower basket. Let's go with that. <laughs> because the old one was just. Yeah, it's here. That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh la la. Okay, well, it's better now. Yes. And we've got a new tap here as well. It's good, looking really good. Right, let's look at oh, the wallpapers. And, oh, for that. So these are all the doors. And they yes. Clean them up. They're the old uh, door things, yes. yes. So that you don't get your sticky, crazy hands on the paint and stuff. So, um, Pavlina repainted all the doors. That's what they are. Oh my she's goodness. Put them back on. But yeah. so all the cracks, you can. Yeah, she's done the undercoat, and then we'll be choosing the top colour. And this one. <gasps> the difference! The difference in that door! Absolutely awful it was. For yeah. Me. Let's look at these papers, Philip. Yes, well, let's look at them with the floor. So, this is why I was thinking this one. Because mm -hmm. look how all that marries. Uh, this is the same one. It's the colours better. Yeah. I think the best one is this one. Okay, well, let's hold them up in the, um, the more I'm looking at it, when you're holding it up right there, I can see the floor. It's good, isn't it? Actually, it's really if, good. If I stand here, like you're standing there. Yeah. Can you see the floor with the lights on it? It's just perfect. No, it's, it's really good. It just looks as though it was meant to be. Now for the fun bit. We've got all of these little samples to see which green will do for the paneling. Okay. Okay, we've got quite a few to try. And it, oh, look, the sample pots came yes. with this adorable little paintbrush. How cute is that? Okay, so where is the... There we go. Okay. This might be a good one goblin. to do the panelling. Good name, anyway. How do you say... a oh, goblin. Goblin. I thought it was gobelin. Uh, oh, that's good. because you're so tremendously posh. <laughs> it must be gobelin. No, 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 but I was thinking... <laughs> I was thinking because of the because of the, the tapestry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I, was, I just read it as goblin. No, it's, it's just goblin. a cheeky little goblin. <laughs> right, I think stock's too grey because, of course, I ordered these thinking I was going to go for the yellow, yeah. but now I think I'd like the yellow in my study. However, this one wouldn't be bad as the ceiling and... Um... I think we need one with a bit more pink in, but we'll try it. Well, let's put some on the wall and see how it okay. looks. And sage green. Yep, yeah, it's too grey. 
Yeah. Too grey, that one. So I think we've ordered the wrong colour because we were not going to go for this paper and this paper's changed things, but what a beautiful colour. Cheeky. Gobelin. <laughs> yes, well, Gobelin. Yes, Philip likes to call it. You also keep telling me off for saying uh, Austria instead Austria. of Austria. Instead of Austria. Yeah, we should go to Austria on holiday. We love Austria. Yeah, that's just Österreich. So I mean, it's just Austria. Austria in English. You sound incredibly harsh. <laughs> it's so rich. You sound like this is one coat. I think that the other one, that's one shade lighter, Tea with Florence. Good name as well. I was well. going to say probably my favourite name so far. Will be better. Tea with Florence in Austria. <laughs> uh, oh yes, it's. The right colour with this, but mind you, Goblin is good too. It's not bad because all of these are a slightly different shade. Yes. So I like the idea of having a stronger colour at the base. I think it's a little bit too dark. Me too. I would yeah. like to continue this colour, the colour of the tiles, connect yes. that to the bottom of the. Um, so it should paper. be. Tea with Florence or even. Oh, excuse me. Tea with Florence or even the one above it, Aquamarine Deep, if we wanted to go a little paler. We're making good progress on the wallpapers, so I'm just going to take a moment to go back to the room and actually get dressed for the day. I want to show you these beautiful flowers. Very good friends of ours from the local area came and they brought new friends of theirs, one of whom has started a flower farm. And he's making flowers of a type that we don't usually see in the shops around here. They're such unusual, beautiful varieties. I love them. They're making me happy every morning when I wake up. Thanks for the bread, Natty. My pleasure. Look at that pile. And now we can really tell that the house is filling up again. That's how much bread we're going to need to get through one day. Mm, busy tourists. It's going to be lovely to meet a grand's wife and kids as well. So I've met them before because uh, they yeah, came they here uh, for B&B. Yeah. That's how I first met Grant. They're absolutely lovely. What a day. We just had lunch, but we are not putting anything into the dishwasher because today is the day that Amory is going to try to install the two new dishwashers. Good, good. Huge day, big excitement. We haven't got time to completely redo the Ariya cuisine before the season, but at least if we can get the dishwashers in and then do it properly all in one go later, once we've dealt with the chapel and the grand salon, then uh, we'll be on the right track. And this is France, Emery can't buy like proper carcasses, just ready made. Yeah, no, they're all for order. Exactly. He's got to make the carcasses from scratch it's today. Like, was, he had to wait what six day? weeks, or was it? Yeah, it is incredible. You just tried to buy it this morning. We try. We try three yeah. places, and we have to go back to Rico Marche to buy the pieces, and he will make everything from scratch, as he likes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> he always ends up having to do that, poor guy. We've cleared everything out, we're good to go. I can't believe we've done this on the day Maria's coming back. Amory's brought in dishwasher number one, and here comes dishwasher number two. Thank you so much, Amory. What time is Maria coming back? You scared me. What are you doing whispering? Have you seen the kitchen? Yeah. What time is she arriving? <laughs> the time that I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, she's arriving uh, this afternoon. 7 p.m. We have no idea whether we can have it looking reasonable or not. Just fingers crossed now. Well, hopefully. but she'll be so happy to have new dishwashers. That yeah, I, I think, think she that will prefer no dishwasher there, and that dishwasher is working so badly. I know. I was I just unloading it for the final time now, yeah. and had to put half of the stuff into the sink to put into the new dishwasher yeah, later. It was needed. It was Terrible. Needed. <laughs> I literally just went online to order everything that we had chosen for Bomaman's bathroom when I saw that they also have a version of this wallpaper in pink. It does seem that the discovery of the pink has changed everything. We're going upstairs to just look at it on the screen in place. And I'm increasingly thinking, actually, I would like the pink. I think the pink is so soft and gentle. I think it'll be gorgeous in here. Usually I just show the final decision and I don't show you all of these processes, but for every single room in the chateau, this is what we go through. How's it going out here? I just brought them some pasta. Oh, no wonder they're following you everywhere. They're fancy, you know, people, they need to <laughs> eat fancy stuff. <laughs> yeah. You're like Juno, Zeus's wife. 
who had peacocks always with her. Ah. <laughs> so we're going on an awfully big adventure. Yeah, on a wild garlic hunt. <laughs> I love that. All right, see you later. Yeah, have fun. So the wild garlic that you planted with Kirsty yeah. has come up. Yeah, and uh, we managed to completely forget uh, where we planted it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blossom, blossom. Yeah. Gosh, how gorgeous. Wow, that is beautiful. Yeah, they're blossoming because they blossomed in like November. I didn't think they would. Yeah, because yeah, November they were in full bloom. <laughs> and how are the apple trees coming on? They're all good. Definitely more leaves. It's just about to open. I think next week it'll be covered. Right, wild garlic. I keep getting distracted. <laughs> You've been edging. Yeah, well, Kirsty was. <laughs> Kirsty's done that. Yeah. So yeah. she's just setting off all the way down there, is she? Yeah. And then we'll plant something that is kind of small and and covers a lot of ground. So yes. we'll have some something of interest on the lower level mm. as well as like things going upwards. Gorgeous. I didn't realize it was all the way down here that you were planting. Yeah. So um, there's going to be surprises throughout the woods. Yeah. And even on the other side of the stream. Oh, we have quite a lot. There's the tulips There's just coming up. And you will see more of them. Oh, yes. <laughs> it does look completely wild like those. They definitely look as though they've just grown there naturally. It's nice here because you can hear the stream down below. And it is so full now. Yeah. Look how much Nick's been clearing. Mm. Now it just needs to be moved. Yeah. You planted loads of clumps because I can see some further up this path as well. Yeah. It's a whole different path than the one we're on. But there are some up there. Mostly uh, Yeah. And here you can already see like the first garlic coming up. Oh, is that the white flower? Yeah. Not quite out yet, nearly. And ridiculously delicious. Well, there's quite a clump here. I don't want to take too many. Just a few. This is wild anemones. So they're oh, tiny and very white. Very nice. I've never noticed so many before. Yeah. I mean, lots, yeah, I think I saw lots of bluebells, but not them. No, not the anemones. That does seem new. I love it down here. I found more wild garlic here. I only want to take a leaf of plants that have more than one leaf. Don't want to take too much in their first year. And look at this clump of anemones just down by the stream. It's stunning. Walking through the woods, looking at the wild anemones, picking wild garlic for a pie that I want to make later. Sometimes I can't believe I live here. The whole chateau is bursting to life, even the ants are getting very busy for the season. And the flowers in the Jardin Anglaise are getting better and better. I'm really seeing Davy's vision come together now, and the bees are so happy. I think this is my favourite bit, this mass of purple and white. I've come back up to the garden because these fresh spring greens have made me think it will be very lovely to make one of the Italian Easter pies, especially as Easter is nearly upon us. So I've come to get some of the sorrel as well and anything else that I can find in the garden that would be good in it. Here's our sorrel. It's got such a lemony, fresh taste. I can't imagine how important this herb would have been in the years before we had readily available lemons in Northern Europe. I've got company from Spaden Ludwig as I get on with this. But the pie is not for you. Oh dear, Spud seems quite outraged by that. I've come back up. Today was my first day and I was absolutely raring to go. But what you don't hear, because I, I cut whenever it starts, is I've just been coughing non-stop. It's most unpleasant for everybody else in the chateau. I just, I'm exhausted. I sound like Darth Vader half the time. I've just come to have a little lie down. How could you lie there? I just think I peaked a bit too soon. And you're coughing the entire time. I know. It's, I've come back like up. It's from the lungs as well, which is quite worrying. Yes, I usually cough from my knee, but this time it's really the lungs. Yeah, so, no, what I mean, like, instead of having... <laughs> oh, I know what you throat, mean, yeah, not like, in the throat. It sounds like you've been smoking a pack a day for the past 40 years. <laughs> um, shall I make you some ginger tea with honey in it? Oh, yes, please. Hedgehogs. Hedgehogs, thank you. Honey will help with the... Uh, 
Look at all that gingery goodness. I think I might pull through after all. I just had the loveliest sleep and woke up to realise that Grant and his children arrived whilst I was sleeping. Plus, I've stopped coughing and I don't sound like Darth Vader. Oh, there is a little bit of bad news though. We won't be cooking this evening because the kitchen is still in the same state. It's such a hard job to get those dishwashers in. Because they're integrated dishwashers, they need to have all of the carcass around them to hold them in place. It's not like a freestanding one. And nothing is level in the room. Poor Amory's had a right time of it. So we thought we would ease the pressure by ordering pizza. So even that's good news. I've just heard someone very exciting is in here. Hello. You are exciting, but you're not who I meant. Hello. Oh, oh my goodness, you're already working. You're yeah, making a fire. Yes. Is it a bit of a shock after Australia? 37 degrees, I flew out of. No, no. 37, Australia to London to about nine. <gasps> and then Scotland snow last week at about minus two. How's your wife taking it? Probably okay now. <laughs> With this, you're sitting in your kitchen in front of the... Yeah, and you've yeah. got, you're in the monkey's apartment, yes. so you've got one yes. in there as well. Yes. I love it. It's Phil looking put me in good. charge of this, so it's great. Did you hear we're having pizza night? Yes. <laughs> Come see the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I was in there helping Emery. It's a bit of a shambles. Yeah, yeah, I bet he was very, very happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good having you here. Thank you. Because we'd met a long time ago, yeah. but uh, yeah, yeah. Four, Finally December back. December 2018. Yeah. That's pre, the first time pre, we all met. Pre the explosion of the, the fame yeah. of the show. It was just a nice quiet B&B &B yes. back then. It was yourself. And Maria, is it? Yeah? Yeah. Marie. Yeah, Marie. 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 Yeah. She actually just contacted you today saying she might be back soon. Yeah. So fingers crossed. <laughs> but we're all sitting here in awe of Philip's laying a table for pizza. I mean that that's some pizza table. It's Easter baby. <laughs> and Marie, no man has ever deserved a pizza more. That looks so look at this. You are the master of the level. I know you've been here all afternoon with many, many lasers. I actually lost track of how many green lasers there were going every single direction, but look yeah. what you've done. New it wasn't ones. straight, was it? Well, no, it's not bad. It's just new ones are thicker. The new yeah. one is thinner. Yeah. So got... Oh, that's fine. Look, Amory, this is all temporary. That's absolutely fine. This is what's bothering you. Yeah, well, that's all they had in there. You need a beer and you need a pizza. You've done a great job. Still got a couple of doors. Yeah. Well, actually, I've still got to, I only put them away just so that we could get to the sinks tonight. Yeah. But I've still got to take them out, fix the um, fix the workshop to the uprights, get them back in, plumb them in, cut the doors, fit the doors, cut the plinth, and then, yeah, that's... And they're all there. Okay. There. Well, look, it takes however long it takes. We don't have the B&B for another two weeks. Yeah. It's all good. Well, it's, it's great. Afternoon, so it's not too, too bad. No, I think you've done a great job. I know it doesn't sound like that exciting to people who live in nice modern houses, but since we moved in in 2005, this is the first time that this work surface has been the same height as this work surface. I mean, that, I don't even know how many years it is to wait. What, 18 years? They've just arrived. I hope we're not in trouble. Hey. Hello, 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 hello. Whoa, there are the pizzas. I cooked for you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, you fired up the bread oven. oven. Well yes. done. Yes. And I bought these boxes to look at. Yeah. yeah, just to make it more authentic. Oh, oh that's mine. This as well. That's my a, one. Scallops. Oh, this is a treat as well that it comes from me. You've done so yeah. well. Not from the pizzeria. You've got to go look next door because the work surface is a level for the first time in 18 years. <laughs> 18 years, that's all it took. Go and have a look. The, I mean, obviously the dishwasher don't work, but it's level, it's level. Of course it's level, it's my like blueprint friend so <laughs> And he's perfect. Oh my gosh, it's almost there. Yeah, it's really, tomorrow we'll have them. Where is she? Where's the lovely one? He was saying hi to Oh, for goodness sake! Oh, I see there's a very large suitcase arriving. Hello! Woohoo! Yippee! Wee! Wee! I'm bouncing up and down. I'm so excited to be reunited with Molly. I can't believe that. Everyone said that she's gone to hug the hug the dog first. Yes, yeah, I've got my priorities. Right, fine. I'm going off in a sock. <laughs> Everyone prefers you, Molly, huh? Oh, hey! How are you? Not too bad. It's my wife, Simone. Hello. 
and my two kids, Jordan and Ella. Say hello. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you guys. This morning, none of that was there. It was only because of the new dishwasher. Yeah. No, it's because we wanted to get the dishwashers in in time for you. Wow. Look, come and have a look. No, no, it's, sure, no, sure. it's not finished Listen, and we can't use them. Okay. I've got to say, though, I'm in for the past month. Every clip in the kitchen, I've been seeing that. Yes. <gasps> I knew you were going to say something. I knew you were going to say something. away somewhere when yeah. the dust will settle. Mm -hmm. so, so, just, yeah. just. Good question. Yeah. I, I knew you were going to say something. I knew it. I knew it. The new, 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 and they're pretty good and they're really tidy because they're all the same colour. And they're all good. Oh no, she's immediately looking at the dishwashers. She gets more than the Can I just point out? Look, level, level, level work surface. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, that popped out. You know, just was... popped right out. Oh, it's like oh, oh yeah, yeah, that one's that was the next one to it's pop out. It's a mobile out. kitchen. Yes, <laughs> yes, so it the, is. I was going to put uh, all sponge I could find into this thing just to lock me back. Just to distract you from that bit. Look, look, come on, that's organised. That is nice. Look at all these. Look. I will never use this. Why not? Because they're not practical. They're very, they've got a dishwasher. They're very practical. Look. That's been my spot the whole time. Okay. Yeah. Wait, where did all the spot go? We did it. You binned the spot. <laughs> <laughs> you heard this here first. It's so good to have you back. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, we'll have to work on it. <laughs> It's going to be a busy few weeks. Yeah. yeah. I really like how the table has been beautifully set. I know, it's Philip, oh, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Top, top. Plunk, plunk. I've got this big bottle. That's a very big bottle. It's good that this is a small little <laughs> gathering before the party really starts. We'll have a crack of this. Thank you, Grant. Thank you, Grant. Thank you, Grant. Oh. Thank you, Grant. I came on the right day. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> Stylish, Philip. I like what you've done there. Thank God you laid the table like that. Drinks? No, it's elegant. Oh, it's about the plastic. Yeah. You know, it's just because we don't have any dishwashers at the moment. <laughs> so the dishwashers are saved. Isn't that basically a takeaway terrine? Why is this not in a terrine? Mm. Isn't that very practical? Because so we just want to more to wash up. Dishwasher, because there's no dishwasher at the moment. That's never stopped you before. Things change, Mary. I've grown over the years. Yeah. outside and have a look. What is that? This is the first time he's put them all on. Oh my god, this is lights. How do you? Yeah, the last one's about to go on. Yes! Amory, it's stunning. Welcome, Maria. Just a little something we did to greet you. Happening. This is very, very special. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah. And this is it now. We'll have them all summer. Well, even the fairy lights? Yeah, that's it. Why not? But it's going to be idyllic to be able to come out here with a glass of wine late at night yeah, in yeah. summer under the fairy lights, still yeah, warm. You're, you're tea here once yeah, the table. the table and the uh, chairs. Yeah. So we'll yeah. go back. It's almost a full moon too. Well, it's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> and there's the moon. I love the fact that you're a man who loves fairy lights. Yeah, it just makes it special. Yeah. So it we does. Can turn off all of these, and then it's just. Um, just the fairy lights, so you can choose whether you want the fountain on, the facade on, yeah. or the fairy lights on. They're all stunning, but I think I like it just the fairy lights sometimes. But mind you, look at that colour on the fountain now. That's gorgeous. I love the way you walk around. It feels like magic. It feels like a fairy tale. You just look at a light and it comes on. These are all going to start blooming or blossoming or... they are and actually i was looking at them last week and the fairy lights and the little buds looked identical you couldn't tell which was which yeah but that's full that's any minute now we'll have leaves are you just changing the colors for the hell of it just make sure they all work yeah. okay i love this yeah this is it's great. freezing cold going in <laughs> Thanks to all of you for joining us for another day of La Land Life and a huge thank you to my patrons and a reminder to you that if you haven't seen this week's patron video yet, there's a lot more of Maria and Grant as Maria starts to whip the kitchen into shape. But for all of the rest of you, please tune in to the Chateau Diaries on Sunday when I'll be posting our annual Easter special from La Land. Today I'd like to say a special thank you to Craig A. Skinner, Teresa Sloan, Sabrina Sawatdi and Nanette Solverson. Thank you for everything you do for all of us here at Lalande. Lots and lots of love to all of you, and I can't wait to see you on Easter Sunday.